Good afternoon, guys. We're in the Kia Soul, and we're going on a road trip. So as you can see, we've put about 560 kilometers on the Kia Soul since we got the motor fixed up, and it has been running A1. Uh, only trouble that we're having right now is the radio. The radio does not work, no matter what you do to the volume, you can crank the volume all the way up, there's nothing. I can pair my phone to it, I can turn the backup camera on and nothing happens. So we're trying to figure out where the problem lies with the radio in this thing, but we're one step closer to getting it ready for sale. So like I said earlier, we are headed on a road trip all the way to the United States. Granted, it's just across the river, a couple minutes away. But we gotta hit the post office. We're mailing some letters to some fellow YouTubers who have gained a little bit of better traction than I have as we sit today. But you've seen it before, I've sent things out to YouTubers and uh, as a shout out, or in hopes to get a shout out for my channel uh, so that we can see the channel grow and, uh, and reach more people. And my phone's ringing. That was just the one person in my life who I do not, never have, and never will ignore a phone call from. Anyone care to take a guess? Yep, you know. So I lost my train of thought, but I know where we're going. We're going over to the uh, U.S. Post Office, and actually, we're in the U.S. right now. I just came through the customs, and uh, we're heading into the post office. And there you go guys, you should have your little letter and stickers within a couple of days. And because we don't have our own yet, we're doing gut raw American style for lunch today. Looks like we got some visitors from PA. The traffic in town today is just gridlock. There's gotta be at least four cars waiting to get out of the parking lot at the grocery store. Alex spent the afternoon buffing the car off. And now he wants to get it dirty. Kids, did yours ever want to do that? Off in a cloud of dust. One of these days, someone's going to call the fire department. I've been craving that for a while. What's that? I've been craving that for a while. I bet you have. I don't even think Sherry Dawn could squeeze through there. We're mint. It is a sad day in the old car auto guy family. As we have made the decision to finally retire 
the Toyota Sienna. We'll now pause for a moment of silence. Guys, I am just kidding about the moment of silence. However, I am not kidding about making the tough decision to retire the old girl. As you can see in the thumbnail, uh, it is time to retire the old Toyota. And part of the decisioning factor in retiring the Toyota was we no longer have a use for a van. My wife for 14 and a half years took a job that contracted her to run from St. Stephen to St. John, New Brunswick with several stops in between as a contract courier. For the last four years, we've been driving the van that you see behind me. Now I have featured this van before, if I don't get eaten alive by this circle fly, I have featured this van before in this video right here. Uh, so when you have time, go back and take a look at that video because it's pretty interesting. Um, and one of the things that we've prided ourselves on, he's on the lens now. Get out of there. One of the things, because that's what you do for driving back here in a field. <laughs> one of the things that we were so proud of with this van is the fact that we've gotten the mileage out of it that we have. Now, you've seen the oil change video. You've seen um, where we've done different things to the vehicle. And I mean, what can we say? For 2006, with over 600,000 kilometers, the old girl is still in really good shape. Now, she's got her flaws. I mean, that comes with age, it happens to all of us. Um, but they're beauty marks. It's experience. We loved it so much, we put so many kilometers on it. In fact, about a month and a half ago, before we even thought that she was gonna get done her job, we put four brand new Michelin tires on it. Granted, we still didn't fix the door. It doesn't open from the inside or the outside. Ow, you're getting bit. It does have a broken hub cap here. It does have some scuff marks on the bumper. She's been scraped hauling stuff out of the back side of it once in a while. A few more scuffs here. Now that's from the door. When the door opens, it chafes a little bit right there. The Dodge Grand Caravans do the same thing. The rocker panel on this side is starting to bubble a little bit and the last time I had it on the hoist it bent. So she's getting a little soft and before the next inspection it's going to have to have a rocker panel from about here up because the rest of it was new a couple years ago. Got a small little dent there but that'll buff. Got a couple of scrapes there that'll buff. All these bugs on here on the front of this, we're not murdered in vain. It's got a crack in the windshield, unfortunately that won't buff, but you know, we'll deal with that. But as it sits right now, mechanically, it is safe. It is inspected until February of next year, which means if this vehicle, in its present condition, were to be sitting on a lot somewhere or private sale, it probably has a value of somewhere around 4,500, five grand in Canadian dollars. Now that's if it had the average mileage on it. So for a 2006, we're now into 2018. So 12 years at 20,000 kilometers years, it should have 240,000 kilometers, which is nothing. So. 240,000 kilometers on a Toyota van. This one's got 620 something, whatever. Or, what's a few hundred kilometers? What's a few hundred thousand kilometers between friends? Anyways, it's time to retire the van. So I can pick it apart all I want, but I wouldn't hesitate to jump in this and drive it to Montreal, Toronto, Halifax, New York, wherever. Um, it's a good van. Uh, in, in the four years that we've had it and all the mileage that we've put on it, uh, it only ever left her stranded a couple times and they weren't even necessarily breakdown related problems. 
couple flat tires, no big deal. She's not driving it back and forth to St. John every day anymore. She's got a new job three weeks ago. She's working just a couple of miles out of town. So no need for the van. And I thought it would be time for her to get into something other than a minivan that she's been driving for the last, like I said, 14 and a half years. So having said that, I bought her a car. And this car is actually in Toronto and they picked it up today. And it will be here hopefully by the weekend. So you're gonna have to wait and see what that car is. But I'll give you a hint. It's red. It's sporty. And it's not a Ferrari. Or a Porsche or a Beamer. Anyways, that's all I'm giving you. I'll give you a little bit of a hint. And uh, we'll start dropping some subtle hints over the next couple of videos. But uh, anyways, guys. Once again, before I get eaten alive by these, whatever the heck they are flying around me, this is going to make somebody a fairly decent van for a while yet. Don't let the mileage scare you. It just means it's got experience. Highway miles doesn't hurt them a bit. It's got a little bit of rocker panel work that needs to be done on the other side and a windshield. That is the worst. Oh, and the door on this side doesn't open. Minor issue. If you're interested, in a van with this much experience and this much provenance that has been featured on several YouTube videos, give me a call, drop me a line, catch me on Instagram, we'll make it happen. I would like to get 2500 bucks out of this thing, but no reasonable offer will be refused and you never know. It just might fly out of here sooner than you think. Okay, Google. <laughs> I got you guys. Convert 389,873 miles to kilometers. 389,873 miles equals 627,439.773 kilometers. That's a lot of experience, guys. We didn't drive it this long because we hated it. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to subscribe and catch more action from Old Car Auto Guy, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next upload.